Pleasance with Style with Aplomb. I'm a certified image consultant and I'm doing a presentation this morning for the City Club of Atlanta for the Business Consortium. We may not be dealing with that high of stakes, but a first impression is very, very important. It may make the difference of whether your client will even listen to you. If they aren't impressed with your first impression, they can discount you and not hear a thing you have to say. It is my goal that each of you can walk out of here today with at least two pointers that you can take home and say, hmm, didn't know that before? I'm going to use that and see if it can, can help you make just a little tweak on uh, how you present yourself. But in a first impression, I think one of the first and most important things is that you have a, uh, that your grooming is good, which means a hairstyle that works really well, um, nails, and uh, with ladies, you don't have chipped nails. With guys, you weren't working, tinkering with the lawnmower or the, the uh, car this weekend, and you kind of got some grease around the and you want to walk around like this. Uh, just the total grooming. Hair is one of the most important things. Men have it so much easier than we ladies do. <laughs> and we've got so many more pitfalls to fall into because guys dress, you can, you can change according to your personality. You can make some changes, but for the most part, guys have got pretty standard uh, pretty standard, standard parameters. Ladies don't. So if you want to make a statement when you walk in, black and white is a great way to do it. Uh, it's also uh, a little off-putting. So ladies, uh, those of you who are single, if you're going to a mixer of some kind, and you've got something pretty dramatic that's black and white, don't expect people to come up and want to talk with you. They are, because it's a little too dramatic, it's like, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty what she's wearing? And then you skirt around it as you go over here and talk to someone else. Because it's, uh, it, and not everybody can wear black and white. It really takes a strong personality. Uh, think Angelica Houston uh, for someone who's pretty strong. She would look horrible in pink, but because it doesn't work for her, it, it doesn't fit her personality. She could wear black and white really well. The brown shoes are, you wouldn't wear them with a black suit. But brown shoes can go with most anything now. And uh, they, they're really showing brown shoes with, with uh, navy blue suits. So you know, just be sure you've got a, if you're wearing a suit, it's a business looking shoe. And uh, the lace ups are probably the most formal looking, but be sure that it's a high polish, but yeah, they are, and they will go a variety of different ways. When your, your socks for men should match your trousers. So don't match your shoe, match your trouser. So that it should make your eye go all the way down. If they can see your, your sock, then uh, it should it should blend right in with the trouser and then the the uh, shoes are a statement in themselves but they shouldn't be that radically different unless that's another totally creative look where you can you know wear some really uh, interesting shoes but that usually doesn't fit into the corporate world you've got to be true to you now in a lot of work environments you need to come have to pull it back a little bit to a more traditional look 
but be true to who you are. So you should look the same in what you're wearing if you are going to a formal event, if you're going to a ball game, or if you're going to the office or have an extremely important meeting with a client. There should be a common thread. I wanted to thank Beryl for a, a fantastic presentation. I think she did a chair. Obviously, she's been uh, helping people put their best foot forward in business and in life for some time. Uh, she is available to, to visit your home and go through your closet with you and do a closet edit, I believe you call it, formally. And uh, you can remove the, uh, the articles of clothing that don't serve you well, the colors that don't work, the pieces that are too old, or the ones that you just hang on to because you love them but you really need to let them go. <laughs> Beryl makes it real easy to convince either yourself or your spouse or someone you care about to do that. She also will take people shopping and is a personal shopper and uh, just a fantastic woman. Thank, Thank you so you. much for today. Thanks.